Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. Now, enjoy the video. They dance across the clouds, each a picture of color, shape, and movement. Painted by the wind, their canvas is the sky. And when it comes to flying kites, there's just no better place than Lincoln City, Oregon. Situated on the coast, about 90 miles southwest of Portland, the town has played host for the last 31 years to one of the most prestigious kite festivals in the world. Is there anything about where Lincoln City is located that makes it, like, the wind good or...? Yeah! You know, you got nice, nice um, open approach from the ocean, right? So you're not in a cove or anything like that. But yeah, you get that nice flow right off the ocean. And, and at the very worst, usually about 11, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, you get that temperature shift and just pulls that good stuff in right Wait, off the ocean. Look at your face! <laughs> look at that wind, it was like... They like butter, Ooh. like butter. Oh, like butter! <laughs> With 26 national titles under his belt, John Baresi is the Michael Jordan of the sport kiting world. Now, John, I gotta tell you, we watched a lot of kite players out here, but you blew me away. Impressive. Thank you. Oh, I could keep my eyes off of your kite. It was just amazing. When you are flying the kite, mm. is it a rush? It's like astral projection, if you pardon me. It's, it's like you're sitting right up there on the sticks with the kite. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> but of course, astral projection, the method in which one can separate his or her consciousness from his or her physical body. Everyone knows that, Rodney. It's your heart, your soul <laughs> travels out and experiences something else, right? You reach out and you get that taste. It's believed that the very first kites were invented nearly 3,000 years ago in China. Over the centuries, they made their way across Asia and into Europe, and by the 1700s, to America. And that's where legend has it that Benjamin Franklin used a kite to conduct his famous experiment on electricity. Today, what's shocking is just how far kite flying has come. There are smaller single-line kites. There are big single-line kites. There are two-line kites that you steer the way you'd steer a bicycle. There are four-line kites that you need special handles to operate. And there are also giant show kites. That is one humongous whale of a kite. We've got about 20 large kites. The, the wow. 60 foot whales, the 90 foot octopus, the, uh, the giant geckos. You're like so happy. <laughs> I fly kites for a living. What's not to be happy about? Now, since you own a store across the road, well, how is the kite business? Well, it's looking up. <laughs> now, this, this kite is 50 feet tall. It's a rotating piece. And you can see how many lines are attached to it. Should we pull yet? So Jan and I decided to try flying this giant donut. It wants to come up, but the wind wasn't cooperating very much. In fact, there wasn't any. Needs a little more air, doesn't it? So instead, we switched over to something easier, a good old reliable single string kite. All right, do I let some string out? It wouldn't crash and burn? Oh, and... By crash, it wouldn't burn. It's flying! Rodney, it's flying. Jan got the hang of it, so I, feel that. I figured I could too. Ooh. I wonder if this is how Benjamin Franklin started. There really is something beautifully contagious about kite flying. Al Washington is a pro flyer who's been performing at the festival for over 25 years, and every year the crowd seems to grow. So is it the color and the artistry? Is that what they're enjoying about it, you think? No, I think they're enjoying their own childhood. <laughs> That's good. That's what I think You it probably is. figured it I out right you there. Got it. <laughs> you, you're old, but you, your mind never gets old. Yeah. And the older we get, we want to go back to yeah. our childhood. We keep wanting to go more. back. I'm on my way. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this year's summer festival drew 35,000 visitors to Lincoln City. That's five times its normal population. Dave, this has to mean a lot of money for this community. And you being on the Chamber of Commerce, how important is this? The impact of festivals like our Kite Festival uh, is measured in the millions of dollars in Lincoln City over the course of a year. Um, you know, tens of millions, really. I mean, it is our economy. For a town of 7,000, tens of millions 
It's a lot. It does add up. It does add up. Our streets are pretty good. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.